been meaning to share a clip of this for days as I've been working here in the upper part of the rafters I realized there was a plant that sprouted right out of the seam between the two uh, spruce beams here thought that was kind of cute that's how much plants love my greenhouse <laughs> uh, let's see March 18th about 5 a.m. or so uh, spent the night uh, putting this frame up and getting everything squared up pulling out the old beam kind of reorchestrating things here but uh, I managed to get the, uh, the whole thing installed and uh, tested it quickly and it works fine got it so it sits nice and flush when uh, when it's in the down position there's enough weight on that door to keep it from flying up in the wind and uh, as a secondary precaution uh, even if it does fly up in the wind it can only go so far before the actuator keeps it from flying so it would float up maybe an inch inch and a half and that would be all it could go uh, so it's windproofed and installed and it functions and uh, I'll uh, I'll set the camera down a sec and uh, use the extension cord just to show you we'll put it up once and bring it back down and then uh, I'm tired it's been a long night but I got it in place and then I'll uh, I'll wire it in tomorrow and we'll have a working vent system which will be a huge relief for me and for my plants um, so anyway, uh, without further ado, I'll uh, I'll get the extension cord and we'll. There we go. By the way, it's about 14 degrees out. <laughs> So we're dumping a ton of heat, and uh, it cools off in here very quickly. I had it open for maybe a minute before, and it just like, oof, temperature dropped quick. In fact, yeah, you can see my breath already. <laughs> All right, hang on a sec. I'll flip contacts, and we'll put her down. Down. Nice tight seal. We're closed. Beautiful. Works like a charm. And uh, yeah, awesome. This frame was really heavy, so I uh, I took the door and the hinges off, um, and I took the uh, actuator off, and I just put the frame up. Um, I did that by bolting this two by four to the frame, removing the old uh, supports that were here in the way, and then basically scooching this up so this 2x4 was hanging on here on each side with the frame hanging off it like if you swing if you hinge down this way hanging off it and then I uh, I used a couple of props out of the other frame members that I'm going to use for the other piece and I propped it up high and then I kind of worked it into place with different props and the hammer um, and then I came back underneath it and I put a couple of temporary braces under here to keep this from swinging down. And then I uh, got it tightened in and set the hinges in place. And then I came back in here with the, uh, the props again and propped it up nice and tight so it sits tight. And so this sits nice and uh, flush along the whole edge and seam. So we get a nice tight seal. So we're only venting when we want to vent. Um, so, uh, came out well. I'm very satisfied, very happy, and uh, very much looking forward to getting up tomorrow and wiring this thing in and fully automating it, because uh, that'll save me having to worry about the plants out here. I think it was like 108 degrees out here today or something like that. I'll, uh, I'll try to include a, a, a graph snapshot from, well, not today, yesterday. It was the 17th of March. To me, it's still today. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'll get a clip once it's automated, and then that'll make uh, part two 
of the video. So uh, until that's done, uh, thanks for watching. A little shot from outside. Just looks like a door in the wrong place in the greenhouse. <laughs> and here the wild turkeys gobbling in the distance. Ah, the country life. All right, it's been a long night, but uh, got the code written, got it wired in, got it working. So let's go over and uh, start the Raspberry Pi code back up. Just show you real quick. The uh, linear actuator is plugged into the inverter. The inverter stays off unless the actuator needs to be run, and then it comes on specifically for that. Uh, up here, we're using GPIO 26 to run this relay here. Uh, there's two outputs on the relay, normally closed, normally open, and one common hot feed or ground feed, whichever it is. Doesn't matter. Um, so, in the normally closed state, or GPIO high, uh, the contacts stay closed, the vent stays closed, because the actuator has a cutoff switch on it when it gets to the bottom of its cycle, it just stays down. So we bring the inverter on, and uh, we don't use any power, because we're not lowering it because it's already lowered. Already so uh, now what we'll do here, uh, oh, the other side of that is where it flips the normally open to closed and that flips the power to the other side and that goes all the way up until it comes to a dead stop. Anyway, I wrote some code here and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, execute the code. Uh, and let's see if you can see that. You can see we're below 90 degrees reading the sensor. You can see the sensor temperature right here. Sorry for the glare. Um, so right now it's down. So what I'll do is take a lighter. I'm only testing one sensor right now just to get this working to simplify things. We'll take a lighter and we'll heat the sensor up a little bit and get it up over 90 degrees. Ah, I knocked out the other inverter for the screen, but that doesn't matter anyway. So now you'll hear that it's cycling. It's set to trip the inverter on and then cycle six seconds of power. So we open in stages so that on a really cold day we just don't dump all the way open and freeze everything. So it takes about five cycles to go all the way up. And uh, right now it's set only five seconds apart between those check cycles. But uh, now that it's working, I'll change that out to like 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes it'll make a check. And if it needs more cooling, it'll open it more. And if it's done cooling enough to take it the temperature below 90, it'll close it. So one more cycle here, I think, and it goes all the way to the open dead stop. There you go. All the way open. The vent works. It's automated. It runs off the Raspberry Pi. This is just the base code. I'll complicate the crap out of it later. I promise you. And to get the vent to close, we'll grab a little bit of snow. We'll take it down below 90 real quick. like so with some snow. You can see it's at 95 right now. Next cycle it'll be well below that. Below 90, lowering. And I have the lower set to go all the way down. That's a 20 second cycle to go all the way to the bottom. And then of course in five seconds it'll check again. And if it needs to go up, it'll put it up. Again, I'll change that out to about 15 minutes. Um, that'll see if the cycle's on the inverter and all that sort of stuff. But uh, the system does work. We can vent the greenhouse automatically now. All right, I did some fooling. 
to fool the fans, I put some uh, snow down on the east high sensor to give the differential we need. Right there. To give the differential we need to bring on these two uh, west to east cross fans up high. And I'm letting the sensor run at five minute intervals. And uh, I just want you to see, you can see the heat rising up out of there. And it's still pretty warm in here. So that's working well. Um, just thought I would share an update while I'm testing here. Uh, at least dump off the heat. And at some point I'll put the second vent in over here in the back. I won't be able to let cool air in as the temperatures get higher. So in the summertime, nothing fries either. So uh, that's very exciting. We got it working. Uh, it was a long night. It was a lot of work. I'm pretty tired. I went through a lot of coffee. <laughs> but uh, it works. I'm excited. You should be too. <laughs> um, I think that's it. If there's anything else I can think of, I'll, uh, I'll edit later on after I get some rest. Uh, for now, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seas Network.